So how is everybody since that new moon last night? It was so transformational, wasn't it? You talk about bringing the fire, just the combustion to start the new cycle. And I do have some messages for you. It's so amazing to have these messages that resonate with so many of you. And it's really, I'm starting, that's my transformation that I got last night, is realizing that I am here for a reason, that I am sharing all of this for a reason. It all started as my own healing, but it has expanded into so much more. And with that, I'm going to move on to the message. Archangel Uriel has been doing this to me all morning. I usually do get up fairly early and um, try to get as much done as early as possible because I like the stillness and I like the quiet. And it's like waking up with the birds and watching the sky light up. To me, that is my fuel. Everything I have tried to get done today, especially with technology, has bit the dust. And it's been very frustrating. <clears throat> and so I come out here to move the plants around. I put a couple up so that you can see them. And just breathe it in. So the archangels are asking you to call upon them. If you're familiar with the archangels, several of them have like different areas that they're known to cover. And sometimes we're not exactly sure what our need is. And so we're not sure who to call. And sometimes we're not sure who does cover that, that area. Follow your instinct. If a name pops out, go with it. There are more. Archangel Uriel, she is about the earth. And I, I felt the peace and the calm as soon as I started speaking. And what she brought to me today here I am trying to get all this stuff done I'm like oh I gotta get a video out this new moon was so transformational so many things change what's everybody feeling and she said stop stop and so I said okay I'm putting the technology down I'll worry with that later and I had to go get some weed eater string I got the yard mode but uh, the weed eater has no string and there's Bill going to do some more work on the church which leads me into what I was going to say over the weekend seeing friends Mama Reba I went over there my granddaughter this is her community now we spent the day with with my friend Darlene and her granddaughter is Marley's age and they had a play date and the neighbor had five dogs and Darlene's too that is heaven on earth and then I go out today to get, you know, weed eater string. And I have to go to the hardware store, our hardware store, Village Hardware and Oriental. Do not underestimate these guys. Chewy goes in and he sees old friends because they knew Eddie. And I'm, Chewy doesn't belong to me. I'm his steward. <laughs> he got to go in the store. And when, you know, the biscuit wasn't what he wanted, they found another treat for him. Saw my neighbor <laughs> getting gas because she's mowing today. And what I have also reconnected with is this higher frequency being that I am. I love the way she's done this. And that brings me to what has happened is you will still experience a lot of the same challenges. But you will now approach them knowing and living from your I am presence, acting and woo, the bees are fighting with each other. Look, look, I see how that happened. There will be conflict and there's going to be unrest in the world. But we know that this is a cycle. I don't care what they shoot up into the atmosphere. They cannot stop the earth cycle, those arrogant SOBs. And that really gets me fired up because I'm tired of seeing the earth abused. We're here to live with the earth, not on the earth. And embarking on this new cycle, you are bringing in the example, the energy of right relation with the earth. And this is not just Archangel Uriel that's speaking now. 
I've been having this conversation all morning since I stopped with the technology. And Gaia is speaking right up. And she says, we're doing this together. Those galactic energies that we're bringing in, we're supposed to be grounding those into the earth. Those divine, we're supposed to be grounding those into the earth. Um, not that we don't utilize them, but it's to ground, to anchor, to share. This is all about sharing because now it's not just you working on your own little path. As I said before, you are now the aspect that is being recalled by the collective, to the collective, with the collective. You are the collective. Access those other things that are you. It's simply like taking a colored lens and changing the color of the lens. You might see different things that don't show up in the other spectrum of light. Use your different aspects. I said one not long ago that I felt like there was just like low vibration, like following me around, not even necessarily a person, but this uh, just trying to get me stuck, get me ensnared again. And it, it was like being ever vigilant. Of course, call in your archangels, Archangel Michael. I call him in quite often. When I need a little magic, I call him Raphael because he's not only the healer, he is the magician. The archangels are, this is one of their times. This is the, they're a specialist team for this time. We just started a whole new thing over. I talked about all the infinite cycles that have begun again. So keep taking those deep breaths. Conscious breathing. I remember when I first awakened, like I've been awakening for a long time, but there was a day and it was when the rainbow wave came over and I literally saw the waves. I was taking care of my friend's farm. And I remember I felt something different. And I had literally, I had literally shifted into that next frequency, completely awake and seeking my true self. And my true self is not this body. This body is part of what I am. But it's not prime materia for me. Not at all. And I remember thinking how I felt this peace. Well, guess what? The peace gets even more intense. And that's what happened with this new moon in Aries. You have shifted. These, these are not gifts anymore. This is you. It, this is just what you are of course it's a gift but this is what you are it's just like we look and we see and you're looking at this video and you're seeing my body but look and see my soul and when you do that you know that we connect in the oversoul we're doing this together as a larger higher frequency being and separation is going to start seeming strange. That's why. So the connections, you know, revisit, revisit some of them. I look, and at this moment, I'm just sending. The, oh, the breeze just started to blow. I'm bringing you so much grounding. Mother Gaia says, "I love you. Work with me." And feel the love that I'm sending you right now. I'm sending you so much truth and just love and peace and harmony. And I hope that you're having a blessed day and connect whenever you need. Until next time.